Today, we're playing Turin Complete. I'm playing the campaign version. Congratulations, you have been abducted. We are testing you. The rules are simple. Build a functional computer or you will be eaten. Good luck. Okay. A signal flows from the input to the output. In the upper left corner under input, there is a green icon. Click on it to turn the input component off. Notice that the output component is turned off. This is because the signal stopped flowing from the input component. We are very impressed with how well you completed the last test. We have decided you are probably not a plant. In this level, the challenge is to figure out how the NAND component works. Be sure to figure it out before you complete this level, or you will get stuck next level. Okay. I need to turn... So I turn the first input on, and that outputs 1. I turn the second input on, and that outputs 1 as well. But, if I do two inputs, it turns it off. So, we need to select. The first one is 1. Correct, you have unlocked the NAND gate. With this component, you can build everything else in your computer. Now that you unlocked the NAND gate, it is time for you to build a circuit. Last level, you made the table that described the circuit. In this level, you build a circuit that matches table. Using NAND gates, build a NOT gate. Okay, so we need to try and get this truth table. So, we'll use the NAND gate up here and use it to connect two inputs and output the final answer. So, when we input 1, it outputs 0, and when we input 0, it outputs 1. Level map colours. Complete, available, and locked. Wow, there's a lot. Look at all this. I think we need to start with the basics first. Let's have a look at the AND gate. Right, now the elephant is dominating all the other test subjects from Earth. Adjusting for brain size, you are also doing well. Create the circuit that matches the table. Okay, so we've got an AND gate and a NOT gate. And we have to try and match this truth table here. So we'll use the NAND gate. And plug in a NOT gate into it. See if that works. So, when the input is 1, the output is 0. When the second input is 1, the output is also 0. But, when we input both of them, it becomes 1. So that matches the table. Let's run it. Level complete. Now, we can do the NAR gate. Most creatures on Earth are aggressive and cannot focus. To succeed, you must learn to think logically, whilst not destroying things. So, we'll use a NOT gate to invert the first input, and another one to invert the second input, and then we'll use a AND gate with the NAND gate and NOT gate to create an AND gate, so we can connect it up. And hopefully, 
only when both inputs are zero, it should equal one. Now we've done the NAR gate, we need to do the R gate. You should be happy you get to participate in our glorious tests. You get a chance to communicate with very advanced people from the galactic civilization. Right, so this is the R gate. So, we need to do what we just did, but opposite. So we need to invert the inputs and then need to do a NAND gate and two NOT gates but because it's two NOT gates and they cancel each other out we don't need them this should be the correct solution let's see let's move on to the more complex so, this one is called Always On. Create a circuit that is always on. Okay. Seems pretty easy. We should use a NOT gate. Put that to the output. Let's just see if that's right. Because it's always on, no matter what the input is. Let's run this and see if we correct. This level unlocks your first manual page. This one is important. Make sure you understand it. As you know, these tests culminate in building a functioning computer. Species that are capable of fishing are considered sentient by law. This is the main reason we don't eat you afterwards. Output on on the second tick only. So, we need to output it when the when the first input is one only. That should be correct. Let's have a look. So, if the first input is one, it equals one. If the second input is one, it equals zero and if they're both on it also equals zero the next one is the XR gate last level you build a circuit that was on when we were at the second tick this level build a circuit that is on when we are at the second R third tick this is also known as the XR gate this level is difficult so don't be discouraged if you don't get the right answer. Let's see if this works. So. So, the next level is called... Wait, it's not coming up. The next level is called Bigger R Gate. So, we need to make a bigger one. Create an R gate with three inputs. The table's grown. So, we need an R gate and another R gate and then connect them all up because that can be... This can be considered one input from the two inputs and then we can just use two inputs like normal into the R gate and output into the output. So anything that we input apart from 0, 0, 0 equals 1 in the output. So let's run this and see if we're right. Level complete. So the next one is called bigger AND gates, so instead of R gates it's AND gates now. Create an AND gate with three inputs. So, this time 
we need an angate here. So this time it's the same as the bigger R gate, except we use an AND gate. This doesn't work for every logic gate, I don't think so. But we can do the same for this. So two inputs go into one AND gate, and then the other two inputs from these two inputs go into this AND gate, and that goes to the output, where anything that we input it won't anything that we input it won't equal one unless we input all three and that equals one let's run this complete right last lesson of today we're doing the x nor gate Create the inverse XOR gate known as the XNOR gate. This should be easy. All we have to do is get an XOR gate and then get a NOT gate. Connect the wires together. And this should be right. So let's run it and see if it matches the truth table. So that's it for today, the basic lo logic section of Turing Complete. I'll be making more videos on this if this video gets. So we've done the first section which is basic logic in Turing Complete. Bye.